Hi folks, we're going to install Windows 7 today in my computer. I hope it goes a little easier than it did for Windows Vista. You know, the great thing I like about this free agent is that it doesn't need a power supply. It just plugs under your USB port and it's very thin and light and small. And uh, this is 500 gigabyte. Fantastic unit to back your files up on. The first thing you want to do is get into all of your files and folders that you want to keep save, back up. There are many programs to do it, but certain things I want to leave on my hard drive and certain things I don't. So in this uh, case, what I'm going to do is uh, uh, grab a hold of this, right click, take it down here to where I'm putting all my pictures and videos on my um, free agent drive. I uh, let go, I click move here, and it is now moving that file over. Actually, I can do more than one at a time. It's a little slower, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab this one, bring it down here to my free agent backup hard drive, move here, and now we have two windows. So I'm going to do that with all the files I want to do and then we're going to get started. Okay, first thing we're going to do now that we've done all this other stuff is we're going to, in, in my case, I've got this HP Upgrade Advisor Assistant. So we're going to go ahead and put this in uh, the computer. I've performed these steps. It stopped here. What's going on? What's going on over here? There's something blinking. What to do, what to do, what to do. Install. Take the chance. I have faith in Microsoft. I really do. I mean, I'm a PC. I always say I've been. And uh, I know there's a lot of good Apple guys out there. My first computer actually was a Macintosh. Okay, go online to get updates. Do not get updates. Okay. Um, I already got my updates before I started, so I'm going to go with or not. I accept. Now what? Next. Upgrade. Pick upgrade only because unless you know what you're doing, custom can get you in trouble and lose a lot of your data. Windows will affect the following devices and or programs. I don't even know what those programs are. That's all the information we need right now. Your computer will restart several times during the upgrade. Shutting down, restarting. Ooh. We see expanding Windows files, 18%.
folks. Setting and starting services. Okay, we are at transferring file settings and program. That was the second restart. Ooh, that's different. For first use. Type your Windows product key. First thing I notice is all of my uh, icons in my uh, tray are now missing, uh, so um, I'm going to have to re-put those in there. So let's see if any of my other programs work. Let's see if the start menu, all programs. Let's try Firefox. Is this going to work? Okay. Okay. I, uh, I'm changing the uh, the thumbnail on my uh, video of my puppy and as I notice over here um, the taskbar is a little different and it's kind of interesting here is the Windows Media Viewer file watch this put my mouse on there and it shows me right beside what I'm looking at I think that's pretty cool that's new that's something new to me Windows Explorer looks pretty much the same you can go over here as you know and uh, change your uh, icon size but what I did find is, um, let's say I wanted to open this picture and uh, click on preview. The, um, the fix button, there used to be a fix button up here. That is gone. I can't crop my pictures. I cannot uh, lighten them or darken them like I used to with Windows Vista. I'm disappointed in that. Uh, but I did find that if you go online, you'll see the same problem. One of the answers is that if you go to Windows Photo Gallery from Windows, you can get it back. So, I had to sign up, and uh, now I'm going to uh, see what I can get here. Photo Gallery, I guess this would be it. And download. Save the file, get this back. That's a very handy feature. Uh, for very quickly adjusting your contrast and red eye and brightness of pictures. Instant save. Uh, fantastic. Um, okay, choose the program. I want photo gallery. Alright, let's see if this is going to work. Right click, open with uh, Windows Live. I've downloaded that. And there we go. So now I have the fix. So if I click fix, see I can come over here to auto adjust, adjust exposure color, straighten, crop, detail, black and white effects. Really pretty cool stuff. Vista problems, maybe it's time to upgrade. <laughs>